the first day of the first session you have what is called as a joint session of the parliament i hope everyone does what is question you can always ask supplementary question always remember so it's very similar to that if you are getting a detailed answer you can expect a supplementary question okay now listen now some of these things have to be continued on in this right so just put a star and write down sometimes sometimes a member may require a member may require the urgent attention of urgent attention of a minister to a matter of great public importance to a matter of great public importance and to seek an authoritative statement from him this is called as calling attention motion this is called as calling capital say like calling attention motion please write this bold letters may it is only in the lok sabha so i hope you understand suppose we are in a session and patan court attack takes place or something like that okay this is of public importance so the next morning if you are in a session the private member can get up and ask mr rajnath sen what is your view upon this part patan court attack etc so it is an urgent thing you don't have the time to give notice it has to be immediately answered so home minister has to stand up and say on the floor of the house this is what we are doing we are moving in the commandos the army is going whatever okay so this is called as calling attention motion but very crucial it is only and only in the lok sabha next right point of order motion next point point of order motion put a star and write down point of order underline right i don't any member of either lok sabha or rajya sabha can point out to the speaker or the chairman respectively that a particular action that a particular action or procedure in the parliament is not happening according to is not happening according to the prescribed rules and procedures of the house is not happening according to the prescribed rules and procedures of the house this is called as point of order example we have to start the zero hour question hour at 11 o'clock suppose every day the uh, speaker is beginning at at 11:30 okay so one of you as a lok sabha or a rajya sabha person can get up and mark in front of in the open house itself that this 
Honorable Speaker is not happening according to the prescribed procedure, we should be starting at 11 o'clock. These are minor reasons. It could be anything else also. Okay, why is the Prime Minister not answering? Why is the Speaker not coming on time? Whatever. It is called as point of order. Now listen, one second. Just put a heading the next one, put a start. Privilege motion. So this is the third type of motion. We have one. First we are done calling attention motion. Now then we are done point of order motion. The third one is privilege motion. For example, you are a member of parliament. Now you are expected to behave in a certain way. Right? Now suppose you come in the parliament and start using abusive words or something like that. Then it is supposed to be an abuse of the privilege of being an MP. Okay? So you can complain to the speaker or the chairman as the case may be that Falam MP is not behaving properly. So please honorable speaker, honorable chairman kindly take care of it. I hope you understand. So this is kind of pointing finger or making him punish. Rather he scolded. Okay, that way. So right now, privilege motion is to complain to the speaker or the chairman as the case may be. That a particular member that a particular member is misusing his privilege of being a member of the parliament. This aims at this aims at censuring the member. C E N S U R I N G. This aims at censuring the member. One motion I have already done, so I am not going to repeat. That is called as a closure motion. So just put a start. The next motion is closure motion. Everyone remembers closure motion? Yes. Yesterday we did. Simple closure, compartment closure, Kangaro <coughs> closure, and the jewelry. Okay. So put a start and write down the closure motion. I think I am not going to repeat this. Just for that day. Next. Put a start and write down. Sometimes. The speaker or the chairman. No, 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 no. The motions are finished. Just put a start. Sometimes the speaker or the chairman, as the case may be, may allow extended time duration. for debate and discussion on for debate or discussion on matters of public importance jo extended duration of online term extended discussion right on these are of two main types Number one, half an hour discussion. Half an hour discussion. I know. These are for small clarifications. These are for small clarifications on matters which have already been discussed. Speaker can allocate a maximum of three days in a week. Three days in a week to such a discussion.
next right short duration discussion number 2 short duration discussion bracket mein write down this is sometimes also referred to as two hour discussion sometimes also referred to as two hour discussion right don't when matters require more detailed deliberations more detailed deliberations <coughs> then 2 hours are allotted to clarify this start and write down uh, so right and continue the speaker can allot a maximum of 2 days in a week maximum of 2 days in a week to such a discussion session of the parliament is addressed by the president this is one of his privileges now please understand who is the president he is actually the head of the state but what is the president telling you on this day are the policies and the programs of the government yes or no so can i say that what the president is about to say in this joint session is actually nothing else but what the government of india is telling him to do yes or no all right now who is the government in the parliament the one who has the majority yes or no right so what happens is who is sitting over here both lok sabha and rajya sabha what are they he say what is he saying the policy and the program for the government who is the government the one who has the are we clear on this part so once the president says whatever he wants wanted to say he is actually said what the government wanted him to say yes or no now the moment the president is done saying what he does you gave what is called as vote of thanks what is that called as a word of thanks ka actual meaning hota hai mr president thank you for coming to the parliament and wasting your time over here i'm saying whatever you have done over here this is the basic idea of word of thanks now just believe that out of four so for example 540 over here and 240 over here something like that okay so you have 780 people suppose i say that coincidentally those who voted for this vote of thanks were only 300 i'm just giving an example can i say the vote of thanks is lost yes, yes or no yes. yes because you did not touch simple majority then can i say because the vote of thanks is lost that means the total support in the parliament 
for the policy and programs of the government of India is in a minority? Yes or no? Okay. So, can I say that if the vote of thanks is lost, that means the government is actually not the government because they are not in? Yes or no? Okay. So, this is the next part. Vote of thanks is therefore called as the informal test of strength of the government. What is it called as? Informal. Why am I saying it is informal? Because its purpose is something its purpose is to thank Mr. President, but it is also a test of strength. It is informal because nobody is asking you to prove yourself, but you are automatically getting proven whether you are in majority or not. So the question is, if the vote of thanks is lost, it automatically means that the government will fall. Are we clear on this part? Without even asking for it. Are we clear? Write down vote of thanks and write this. Put the heading as test of strength. First write informal test of strength and write this. Informal test of strength. It does not mean that this is the only test of strength possible. Now let's see very carefully. Suppose, ye to ho gaya. Suppose one fine day the opposition party believes that the government does not have the numbers for continuing as a majority government, then also you can have a test of strength. But that test of strength is going to be a formal test of strength. So what is formal test of strength? Formal test of strength is when 50 members, okay, usually 110, 50 members move a motion to ask the government to prove their majority. This motion is called as the no confidence motion. What is this called as? Now, this no confidence motion is a formal test because the government is asked to prove. If they are able to prove their majority, they will continue. If they are not able to prove their majority, the government will fall. The government will fall. This will have two consequences. Either some other party will be invited to form a government, form a government, this could be a party or a coalition of parties or you will have to go to what is called as the midterm poll. Are we clear on this part? Everyone has understood? So, if you are able to prove your majority, you will continue. If you are not able to prove your covenant, uh, the majority, then either another party or another coalition, group of parties will be invited by the president to prove their majority and form the government. If that is also not possible, we go to snap poll or midterm. Are we clear on this part? Try this out. At least 50 members of the house, usually of, of the opposition party of course. Anyone, obviously. Private members have to move. The ministers, it is against the ministers, it is against the ruling government. So what is no confidence motion? What is no confidence motion? No confidence motion is when the opposition party believes that government has not numbers, majority has not numbers. So, the government can challenge kar sakte ki prove your majority. Right? In the floor of the house, prove your majority. The government will have to now vote. They will be voting on no confidence motion. Those in favor of the government will vote in favor. Those who are against it, well, favor against. If you are having a majority in the Lok Sabha, you are touching 272 plus or whatever, you are fine. If you are not, you are Doubt? Any doubt?
you will act when required to be act so when you have to shout you have to shout okay you have to show your numbers number 3 you will applaud when i will make a statement all right i hope you understand and you will of course you know boo them when they are saying something number 4 now this is very crucial the very crucial because you have to show your strength you are 300 plus you know so you have to show your strength also otherwise opposition will get too entangled and last he will keep an eye that number one she is a bjp and she is voting in my favor when i move a motion and she is voting as told to vote so i want her to oppose the motion she should oppose the motion i he, i want her to support the motion she should support that motion now i am modi i am sitting on this corner you are 300 plus sitting behind i cannot keep an eye on you so who is going to keep an eye on you the bill avidya so no confidence motion he comes to me and tells me sir ye jo hai na inhone madam ne vote kahin aur kiya ya ye aayi nahi hai voting pe so what can happen i as the leader of house or the prime minister in the house i can take disciplinary action against her remember if you notice now very carefully uh, kirti azad he made a statement against arun jetty okay isse pehle shatrughan sinha if you know okay p b ram bhi aapko isse pehle ram jethmalani he was kicked out i hope you understand so what was that that is who is doing this he is telling me i am taking disciplinary action so i am the, i am modi i will talk to mr amit shah who is the head of bjp and that yaar ye baat nahi manne isko nikal i hope you understand or take disciplinary action i hope you understand so what you are taking is very different that is the section section is of course a different thing this is a bit more okay everyone has understood